What's up, everyone? Dust Bunny Avenger here from Slackers and I'm bringing you Nino Kuni 2. Return of Nino Kuni 2. In the last episode, we had just gotten the Kingmaker, unlocked the, the Tactic Tweaker, and are on our way to becoming the greatest king in the world. As one can hope. Alright. Tell Baju back at the Sky Pirates base that you passed the trials. This way. Let's tell him that we have completed everything. He's not downstairs. Oh, he's right here. Jeez. Hiding on me, Batu. Hiding on me. You're not Batu. You're not Batu at all. You're a shop guy, though. Yo. Yo, what you got? Time to do some shopping, eh? Mm. Cutlass. That uh, would be a plus over many of my weapons. Uh, cutlass, I got cut I got many cutlasses. Actually, I do have several cutlasses. Just jeez. Um, bandit spear. She only has a, two weapons. Massive mallet is an option. Wizard's wand, huntsman's bow, thunder blaster, and a clerk. One boots. Actually, I don't think what I need any of this I stuff. I'll be seeing you again then. And I don't want to really sell anything quite yet, because I don't know how this whole developing my kingdom will be thing. And you never know, I may need, like, items to, like, salvage, or maybe, like, break apart. Some of these games kind of end up with that, so I'll just hang on what I got for now. Ahoy there. You made it back in one piece then, eh, lad? And by the look of your face, you didn't come home empty-handed. Oh, this is my kingmaker, Lofty. Ah, it is indeed. <laughs> He's a little, little, ain't he? Oi! Says you, shorty. All right, you scabby dogs, make ready for a feast. These kingmaker swabs here deserve a celebration. <laughs> a feast, eh, boss? Truly? Ah. Yar. That night, the Sky Pirates celebrated Evan and his friend's success into the wee small hours. You know, I they never... all agreed that Evan was a fine young man indeed, and that he would make an even finer king. And then, morning came. Look, the sun's coming up. It's morning already. Gosh. Evan! Huh? You mean to become king of this here world, is I not so? Yes. Well now, there's a thing. I see something in ye. And I'm not the only one. What are you doing? The men of Cloud Coil Canyon do hereby swear fealty. We serve you now, your majesty. Huh? Gosh. So it was that the very Sky Pirates who had once sworn to take Evan's life, now swore to devote their own lives to serving him. And with this fledgling following, he took his first steps on the long road to ruling the world. Well, it makes sense. Rat King just took, did a coup and just took over a kingdom. I mean, who's actually going to be following him? Because they don't know him, they don't trust him. Obviously, he's a snake pleased? in the grass. So, Evans Lee's going through the steps of like earning people's trust. Seem pleased? I am. Oh. It all happened just as you said it would. I met lots of new people and made lots of new friends. Perhaps I really can keep my promise to Nella. <laughs> so you really are going to rule the world then? You don't do things by halves, do you? 
But building a kingdom is hard work, and building a great kingdom is even harder. It's not going to be easy. I, I know that. But I'm going to try. I have to. Spoken like a true leader. You'll be meeting a lot more people soon, Evan. You have to listen to them, all of them, and you have to remember the things they tell you. It will make you a better king. I'll try my best. <laughs> Sorry, I'm talking as if I know everything again. But I'm right, I think. I trust the person who taught me all of this more than anyone else in the world, and so should you. Until next time, Evan. Goodbye. But... Oh. Save your progress. Yes. Achievement unlocked. King reborn. I am a king now. I have followers. Do my bidding and we shall rule the world together. Uh, <coughs> I mean, uh, for good. <laughs> rule the world for good. Well, that's us signed up for... <clears throat> well, that's us signed up for a life of servitude. We can't very well up sticks and have every man, woman, and child among us set out of... After a king who doesn't even have a kingdom yet. Yeah. And we can't just run off and leave the base empty either. Hmm. Oi! What are you two talking about? We're just discussing the fact that we'll need to look for a suitable place, piece of empty land, if we're going to start building our new kingdom. Alright, now that'd be an awful pain in the neck, won't it? Like, you could just raid a village somewhere, start out to that with your base, and... No. We're not pirates, understand? <laughs> yeah, alright, alright, keep your hair on. Old boss is just having a bit of fun with you. Mm -hmm. Anyway, if we're gonna build a kingdom, we're gonna need a good spot. Location is everything. Core. Looks at Roland's face. Talk about serious. Because we're having a serious conversation. <laughs> I suppose he does look a little stern. A new nation is like a tiny defenseless animal, by which I mean it's liable to be swallowed by the first predator that comes along. The only way for it to grow is to put itself somewhere out of harm's way. Anywhere else and you'll be overrun before you know it. What kind of place do we need to look for then? Some place difficult to invade, sure, with plenty of natural resources. If you got both, you got a chance. Some place like... Right here. Evan and his motley crew of would-be kingdom builders turned their gaze eastward to the heartlands. These verdant plains were as yet unclaimed by any nation. But would they prove a fitting place for Evan's promised kingdom? Possibly. Chapter 3. The Town That Tempted Fate. The Heartlands aren't too far away, straight down the mountains and past the ruins. Can we fly there? Well, no. It ain't exactly that we can't fly there. But it's the winds of Cloud Coal Canyon that set the old sky skim as a sun. See, beyond the bounds uh, of the valley, things can get a mite hairy. Mm. I see. I think I prefer to walk. Listen here. Going by land ain't necessarily much to see for lad. There's a gaggle of bandits. Been bothering folks down the ruins there of late. Huh. Bandits versus pirates, huh? Sounds like quite a showdown. Yeah. Yeah, there's loads of them as well. It won't be pretty. And we'll have to be all mob handed. A couple of halfway decent leaders of men among our number. Fetch that pair of numbskulls, will you, girly? You say decent handed. Oh, there they are. Boss! You rang, boss? No, listen here. We're away to set up a new kingdom down here in the Highlands of Heartless, lad. And we'll be needing to smash our way through a band of the two to get there. Lord. 
is why your men will be joining us. <laughs> Yar a battle. <sighs> sure, it's it's been long enough. <laughs> <laughs> Scrap boys at last, you are. Huh? Sorry, but I was fancy to peek at this brave new world the boys build is all. I'm all the mayor, right, Evan? Uh -huh. It's all right with the lad here. It's all right with me. Just you be sure I'll make yourself useful, you hear? Aye, aye, boss. Looks like the Kumbus, Chingus, and Geralt has come on with you. Listen here. I'll be fighting beside you from here on out, lad. I'll leave the tactical tinker and see you, but just but just you shouts if ain't doing it as you need me to. Is he actually a member of my party? Yo. I'll be counting on you. Sweet. So the Cloud Snake himself is part of our team now, huh? Could ask for a more formidable ally than that. All right then. Looks like it's time to head for the Highlands. Oh yeah, all of them are. Oh, he, oh my gosh, look at that hammer, bro. Dude, we, we gotta have a pirate in our squad. Uh, is he an like, active party? He's an active party. Yo, you, you, you're taking front and center up there, pirate man. Ha <laughs> ha. Use the party member to select which of these three characters. Oh, which of these three, which of the three characters will take part? I see. Uh, we haven't really played with Tani le yet, so let's hold off with that, rolling Tani and that, so we'll be good to go on that. If uh, Tani's not that great, we'll switch back over to Evan. Here we go! It was level 12 though, so that's nice. The pirate man himself. Let's go zap wing. We got a, we got a thing or two. You and me, Zap. This will be over in no time. He doesn't really use the hammer that much. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! He hits like a freaking freight train. I can't remember, it's essentially Dark Souls controls. Jeez. All those little, those little tiny spirit dudes chasing us. We got pirates chasing us. I mean, yo, we, we got the flock, man. We are gaining more experience than money, so our money is taking a drop. Be cool with that, though. Wamster, Wamster Bank. Come here, Wamster, let's go. This will be over in no time. Oh god, he's gonna spin to win. What's your range? Oh. Oh snap, he's got a a bow. He can charge attack it. I I wouldn't I wouldn't would have called you to have a be a bow user there, pirate guy. I would have figured you'd have, you know, a gun. I think I gloomy hag's finger. I don't know what that is. Going up here. A locked chest over here. Still don't have any locked chest openings. You jump very small, bit of pirate. So, Zapwing, we take a look over here. Watch your backs. 
Jump up, smack with a hammer. It's down. Man, he doesn't even need to jump to get up to those guys. Ooh, the punishing cutlass. Hold up, what do we get here? Punishing cutlass. Probably better than a regular cutlass. Uh, slightly boost crit hit, damn. Ooh, baby. Uh, I I like Batu, but just yeah, we'll we'll, we'll hang out with Batu for a little bit more. I've been kind of heavy on Roland, but Roland Roland just seems powerful. Please, he, he's he's even across the board. Now, we don't have means to open those chests yet. I'm not entirely sure how we get the means to open said chests. Thank you for coming to me, because I appears that I was stuck on something. You ready for this? Oh, good. A rock tech. And he is strong though. Actually, how did I get down there? <laughs> Puzzling Ranger's bow. Hold up. Use a bow. Uh, slight chance confusing enemies, and I also have one increases water damage. Um, I like the chance of confusing enemies as a possibility. Uh, she also uses a bow. So you can get the damp one. Damage upgrade is damage upgrade. There we go. That's how we get around here. There's a cave over here. Let's go check it out, you never know. Uh, oh, group chat. Have I been here? I think I've been here, but I want to just try a little bit more battling right here. I love all you guys. Gosh, you guys are weak sauce. Prepare to be boarded. Prepare to be boarded. So this is the area we would come by before, it's cool. Fair enough. Alright, so at least I have an idea of how he plays out. Let's try Tani out, since we hadn't yet. Okay, she fast attacks with a spear. Has three skills. Right. That is just Cloud Cola Canyon. Check. So we gotta swing to the right over here. Level 12 Whamster. Time to wham and bam, my friends. Watch your backs. My fighting. Okay, so. Oh. oh. That was rolling. Oh, a watery massive mallet. Dude, we, we already got a rare drop for freaking the hammer, dude. Okay. I mean, I, I mean I'm not mad at all. 
37, 45, jeez. Abuse the weapon with water. Like, I, I realize there's not really a point of having like too many weapons at a time. I know they all earn their, their, their abilities, ability points, but if they're weak weapons, why? Hi there! Avast, the dogs will be just beyond here. The bandits you mean? Aye. Aye, that I do. All right, time for Kumbus and Chingus to make their sorry eyes useful. Let's get this battle underway. Plans are standard for our troops to muster beneath, and when you're ready to take the field of battle, come there and say the word. Skirmishes are army-on-army -army battles in which Evan takes the field to command up to four units. His aim is to have him guide his troops to victory. We will begin a skirmish. Approach the standard, plant to the ground nearby, and order your soldiers to form ranks. Battle the Heartlands, regiment level is skirmish level one. Well, we are definitely level one. During briefings, you can prepare your army for the skirmish ahead by checking victory conditions, assessing enemy forces, and boosting your might in picking units. Oh, this became an RTS. Ah, uh, enough influence to buy a boss. Respect forces. Their units, we've got Chinkis and Kumbosh. Kumbosh. Lost your forces. We got Sky Viper. Oh, no, it's just him. That's all we got. Those guys. Okay. Mobilize forces. You can battle? Yes. <laughs> the heartless here is a boozer place for a ball. Why, well, devils never change, Cursor. Good luck, troops. Two arms. Control your units. When a few unit Evan controls and counters an enemy, it will auto attack automatically. You can rotate units to the left using LB and to the right using. Mm. Listen here. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Oh, you guys are smarter than that, huh? Oh. Oh. The sword guys up front and let the arrow guys go from behind. My gauge, by holding down one or the other button, you can have your forces move quickly or launch an all-out assault that will see them attack the enemy in a fast, furious formation. Uh, A for quick march and X for all-out assault. Ha! Evan, lad. Uh, there's a mess of them dogs and no mistake. Mm. Take these guys out. Apparently, they're a little, uh. This should work! Neutralize. Yeah. Unit types. Each unit type is strong against certain other units. Swords are strong against hammers. Hammers are strong against wizards, and wizards are strong against. When the troops are at a disadvantage, you'll see a blue arrow. When you see they are. With an advantage, you'll see a blue arrow and a red one with a disadvantage. Try to keep their positions in mind. Don't let them get away! Let's 
special tactics. Each unit can deploy its own special tactics. This can be used when the unit's special tactics gauge is full. Uh, but be aware that this will cost military might. Uh, military might is the power used to order your units on the battlefield. You have a different amount depending on the type of engagement, so try to be best to use it wisely. Ching Chingus' special tactic calls down skyskimmers to bombard the enemy. Kumbash's special tactic temporarily roots the enemy in spot with terror. Hold right trigger and press B, A, or Y, or X to activate a special tactic. Here we go! Hiring the untamed. <laughs> okay, so X is what I want to use. <laughs> Singing me name over this. Oh, goes that way. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Oh, I have to aim it. Uh, <laughs> Things aren't looking good. Let's do a aerial bomb bar. Okay. I'm down to like nobody. Something special. Hey, we ain't done yet. It drongos. You just wait. <laughs> Offer reinforce the unit's current health can be gauged by how many soldiers it has. I like the one. The plan I should hold B to spin military might to call for reinforcements. Stay strong. All right. All right. Oh, no. Perhaps these worms aren't now quite as backwards here. as we thought. Yeah. Make sure it's range. Over the walls, my friends. Cut. <gasps> Whatever that is. Charge! I don't know what that does. I said medium military boost. That's what it sound like. This is where we're gonna build our base, right here. Maybe a checkpoint actually. <laughs> Their bases. Shock tactics. Activate shock tactics to make all unit types effective against all others. It greatly slowed on the rate at which the mic cage is depleted. Units are poorly matched and you're in trouble. Try pressing Y. <laughs> Don't you drive us to wait for me. <laughs> Everlad! 
No, no, tactics, my friend. Tactics. <laughs> tactics! <laughs> we get arrows. Arrows beat everything. <laughs> you guys are dumb. Like, real dumb. There's plenty more where that came from. Just, just, I don't you know, you think guys. You can kill me off? You blokes don't fight fair. Well, no, if you guys are dumb enough to stand in the bottom of a cliff. And let me shoot you from above. You, you deserve on. to die. I'm sorry. That's the end of that. Woohoo! Well, victory. Scenario complete. I can I can dig that. Yeah. Easy peasy. That laddie is how it's done. Don't you go forgetting now. I shan't. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, one and all. The army menu can be accessed from the main menu. You can check the capabilities of units you'll use in army on army skirmishes, and when you've recruited enough of them, pick which ones will go into battle. Travel to the rubbly ruins. Here we are last, the Harlands. Oh, baby. Put down a castle. Wow. Not bad at all. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lovely cool breeze, isn't there? Golly. We're really going to do it, aren't we? We're really going to build a kingdom. Eighty years later, because that's how long it takes to build giant castles. We have tents. Well, that works. Yar! There's all the tents pitched. <sighs> Thank heaven for that. I'm pooped. We can't live in tents forever. We'll need to think about putting something more permanent in place. And for that, we'll need natural resources. Mm. Yeah, building materials. Right, some good quality wood would be a start. Well, that's easy enough. The forest in Nihal is just down the way. We'll go and chop ourselves a few choice logs, shall we? Oi! You can't just go chopping down trees willy-nilly. What do you think Nail Nial would have said about that? I guess he's the owner of the forest? Yes. Yes, he's the leader of the Greenlings. They're the creatures who live there. Nothing happens in the woods without his permission. We must go and speak with him. I'm sure he'll give us his blessing to explain the situation. Ha! You've clearly not met, met Nihal, lad. He's an incurable old skinflint. Tighter than a hangman's noose he is. You'll get nothing out of him for free. Mark my words. Then we'll just have to cut a deal. I brought my fair share of hard-nosed customers to the negotiating table in my time. Mm -hmm. Watch that now. Never mind. Let's go see this Niao, shall we? Now, the master of the forest. Whoop whoop whoop. How how did I? Oh, kingdom to come. <laughs> Good name. The leaf. Man from Monsters, look what I found. I was having a little poke around the first of Niao. Tis a magnificent mush mumshroom in all her glory. She spreads out little swabs called Smorshino that fight alongside her. It's good to see the lizards sticking up for their old ma. Ha ha. Best tent ever. The boss. Stole up his leaf book and took a picture of Batu without him noticing. Hey, 
Okay. Hmm. Can't get out of here for Let's go speak to Meow so we can start building. And we shall! This episode! Because I thought it had been longer. Okay, I got this. Yeah. I clicked on it to open the game back up. Why Why you do this, Steam? Okay. Let us go! Already saved. Let us go! Oh, actually, what up? What's this over here? Besides, uh, the game lagging a little bit because everything's going so slow. Ahoy there! Battle standard ahoy! Best Freddy of all scrap, you swabs! No, Let's listen take out here. this banger. Grim Chilla banger. Prepare to be boarded! Oh, I have a steel! I just stun lock you. Sucks to be you. A cool, massive mallet. I want to do that, but let's go to Nial. Actually, I can't say I'm a fan of uh, Tani, but I mean, the fact that she has a steel is great. So I'm going to actually rotate uh, Evan back in since he's got uh, strong abilities, but I'm going to rotate Roland up here, and then we're good to rock. Hedgehound. See, level 15 is a bit easier to handle. I got sandwiched by mobs. Oh man. Do your work. Okay, I don't know what you little dark guys want to do. I've actually talked to you in a battle before. Humble button. Oh, there is something big over there. We're on level 13. You know? Let's do it. Let's, uh... Throw a save down. <laughs> Giant creature versus me. Fight number one. You're level thirteen. I feel like we got a level thirteen. But dude, he is a big son of a gun. That's not the button I want to push. Ow. Yeah, snake. He's got a snake on his boat. Dagger, beat him up. Thirty guilders, some stuff. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. We've already won, but you know, just in case. You're just uh, you're a skeleton. This guy wasn't like protecting something, was he? Doesn't look like it. I mean, this is kind of the general area where I'm supposed to be going. Well, that, that's like a... Big and over there. Okay. 
attack you and just keep heading that way. Have that ye dog! Sweet mother trees. My gosh. Destructive much? That, uh, that, that, that spinny circle. Circle cut or whatever. Man. Jeez. Oh, this guy has... A darkness around him. Excuse oh. me. What's wrong with that monster? It seems different from the others. Oi! But tear your head off as soon as look at you. That's what's wrong with it. Those with the weird aura around them are kind of infected with evil. Makes them go even loopier than normal, and as if they weren't enough of a nuisance already. There are some good bounties on offer for beating them, but that's because they're tough as anything. I wouldn't go near one unless you're feeling particularly brave or particularly stupid. The effective ones are proper pain. Don't say I didn't warn you. Tainted monsters are monsters that have been affected by a mysterious and malign influence that sends them wild, making them much more dangerous than usual. They attack without provocation any and all who approach them, which is very valuable bounties on offer for ridding the land of their nuisance. Do you dare face these horrors? Information about tainted monsters. Look, uh, uh, take a look at tainted monsters in the library section on the menu. More will be added as reports or sightings come in. You know, let's give it a shot. Um, throw a quick save down. You see me doing this a lot because it seems like it throws you all the way back to the last save. I don't know what level this guy is. He's out here. He can't be too high a level. Level 22. Do we? Oh, screw it. We already saved. Let's go. Yeah! Do your wanna... worst. Let's stick to range when I can. We are doing next to no damage for him. Don't let me down. They do a healing. Well, Oh, oh gosh, that hurts. Ow. Ow. I'm sorry. Hero down. Where you go? Yeah, twenty two is not in our range of doing anything. It was a little bit out of our range. I'll come back to you, don't worry, because you're too close to the house. I don't like you being that close to our. That's a lot of mobs. Have that, ye dogs! Eat this! Territory. You get a surprise attack on him? No. Prepare no, to be not that lucky. Uh, was, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like light, light, light. Heavy. With that overhand flip attack. Cleaning house, which we're forming our own little army despite not technically having an army going. It's weird. Toad steel. 
Princess Toadstool, what happened? Patelia. Hey, if you want to fight, let's go. Careful, everyone. Eat this. Oh my gosh. That was purple item. Is that the equivalent to like a a red item, but for armor? I don't know. It's like an epic item. Oh, uh oh. Okay. Oh, eh. I accidentally hit the steam button. Sorry about that. Um, equipment skills. Clear simple slippers versus. Slightly boost resistance to poison. Slightly boost experience earned. Ho <laughs> ho! Yes. That's what I want in my life. Experience earned. Should have all the experience earned. I'm cool with that too. I see that in uh, Final Fantasy games. Purposely kill off the rest of my party. Watch your backs! <laughs> Just to get more experience for uh, like one guy. Can I take it? Oh my gosh, another one. Oh, good boots. Awesome. Rare items turned down. Why are we getting more rare items? Disappear or die? I don't know. Don't let me down. I don't know what those guys do yet. Sweet. Uh, I guess we can actually put Hardy Pendant on. I don't think you're wearing anything. Yeah, you're wearing very limited armor. Um, blue armor. Put that on you. Uh, boost damage done by swords. You don't have swords though. Boost damage done by swords again. No swords. Okay, well you just wear your leather armor. Chappy bosses boots, boost damage done by swords. Again! You don't wear swords. More treasure chests appear and boost all elemental resistance. That sounds pretty solid, honestly, dude. You go ahead and wear that. No more rings picked up. But I've got another baby buck that improves physical defense and hardy dependent increases max HP. We're good on that. So you can. Conjure a rock, then we hold a foe, and then in a spin, that's your spin to win. Alrighty. Shop of bosses, that's damaged by swords. You do have a sword. There's no reason not to be wearing this. But you just unlock. Okay, I put that on him. That's what I did. Close range ring, baby buckler, wizard wear. Do I have anything better than this? Uh, 21 to 28. I guess. And boost wind. Uh, less magic, more defense. I feel like you're getting smacked around more than anything else. We'll just do that for now. Okay. Armor um, all set up. Is a warp point ready to go? Wiggy way trip door. Pork chopper. Yo. I dig it, man. Let's fight the pork chopper. I don't like it when you do that. Strong man sands, dude. Oh my gosh, another gloomy shimshir. Did we just get a new weapon for our buddy here? Oh, I hope it's a good one. Rowan, you're gonna be the pride of the group. Uh, what we got here? Gloomy. Slightly increases dark damage. Higgly, higgly balls heal MP a little. Hmm. My gosh, the damage on that is insane. Also, the shamsher on that was also 51. I didn't realize it was that high. Um. Punishing Cutlass was boost crit damn. 
I like I like it. We're gonna switch it out for this. And punishing. I'm sorry, pun punishing. Uh, Shamsher. Oh, actually makes crit his slightly more likely. So that's just an upgrade over that, giving you all sorts of advantages. And you are still using some lame weapons, sir. We're upgrading you. Cutlass, Cutlass, and Cutlass. At least you're... I mean, it, it, at least you're, um... Being consistent. Uh, oh, this was a... A one. 40 increases dark damage plus one. Uh, tags in. Yeah, let's rock that one then. Already got your armor set up. And then, uh, your weapon, sir. Sir, sir, sir. You did get the cool massive mallet... Just now, uh, chance of freezing enemies. That sounds pretty awesome, though. Punishing increases crit hit dam. Uh, I like the idea of that. And I, I want them to have some sort of bonus on them. I don't have anything that's exactly axes yet, so we're just going to rock all all mallets for now for you. And let's us head inside. Into the forest. Do your worst. The wyverns. Deal with the wyvern. We know we want. I'm just, I'm running around shooting my gun to the air like that. Ah, take that forest. First the Fial. Or Fiat. Oh baby. I did say Fial. First of Meow. Gone. Meow. What are all those notices doing on that tree? It's covered in them. That writing. Those those weird squiggles they use over in Gold Paw, right? Gold Paw? Mm-hmm. It's a kingdom on the other side of the forest. Uh, there's even more people there than in Ding Dong Dell. Never mind all that now. Something's fishy afoot. It's metal in the air. Best shake a leg and find out Niao. Say. Pretty big trees, huh, boss? Oi. Plenty of wood for the chapping of those things. I think that's also going to do it for us. And we made it into the forest. Uh, yeah, I mean, we've accomplished a little bit. We've gotten to the forest, got the skirmishes and stuff unlocked. We're, we're moving on down the road on what we can accomplish and what we can do. If you keep finding those pur those purples and oranges. And... Oh, that was a bad time to do an outro and a stretch at the same time. Apologies. But yeah. If you like what you saw, want to see more like it, slap the like button, bash the subscribe button, and share the video. Expand the Slackers universe. Because visibility is still our greatest foe. So, hey, this is Desmond Image signing off for now. Until next time, folks, take care. Bye.